Guys, it's final day of Cranky Chess Classic. Magnus Carlsen is playing Richard Rapport for the first place. In the round robin, Richard won one game, Magnus won one game, and now they're facing each other in the playoff for the first place. Magnus is playing first game with white pieces, starts with d4, e6, d4, d5, knight c3, bishop b4. We have very interesting Vinaver on the board, it's very sharp opening and playing this on such level is very very risky and early on Magnus took a huge advantage here in this position bishop e2 is played, rook g8, a4, knight c6, queen h3, attacking h7 pawn, h6, bishop h5 and Magnus has an advantage, knight e2 g6, bishop g4, h5, bishop f3, look, dark squares are really bad, knight f5 and Magnus plays g4, which is the main line in this position, h takes g4, bishop g4, and after castle, bishop f5, our commentators Trent Lawrence and Nanish Giri said that very unpleasant position comes to reach his hands because these dark squares are insanely weak and Magnus even plays nasty king d2 protecting the c pawn so he can move his knight somewhere but the point is now he can do that because pawn on d4 will be hanging after this pin so queen f3 knight d8 bishop f6 rook h6 knight h4 knight f6 h5 and after g5 I think h5 was a huge mistake because it allowed g5 to happen and the point is after queen takes a 5 it looks like white took a pawn but there is knight g4 attacking this queen and also threatening to take and simply take on c3 after and here actually queen has nowhere to go and the only move is this, this and black are winning so the point is g5, rook e1 f4, and here rook is one attacking pawn on g5, rook g8, and here absolutely insane knight f4, first brilliant move, the point is after knight f4 there is boom, and g takes a 4, boom, and what happens after king c7, boom, and white are winning the screen back, so rook f6 is played, because after e takes f6 there is knight f4 and looks like black have two pieces for the rook but h6 knight f6 h7 rook h8 and now again queen f3 attacking this pawn queen d8 and now magnus plays rook g5 another brilliant move so what he's trying to do is basically he's down a piece all right, but the point is his pawn on h7 is so strong that it is enough to win to make this position winning. Bishop is six, rook e1 was threatening rook is six, king b6, rook e5, and now f4, f5 is Magnus's idea. So Magnus brings his king to the safety, a5, queen f8, which is a mistake, and Richard can't even take the queen. Because f takes g7, queen promotes. So they were kind of shuffling around. And here, again, Magnus is down a piece, but his position is completely winning. And after f7, basically rook h7 is being threatened. And black are lost. Richard tried to play bishop d3, but after c takes d3, he admitted his loss. Because if this rook g8, queen promotes, and of course if rook f8, white can just take e takes e4, they're completely winning, and Magnus makes it 1-0 after the first game, and now Ricci is in must-win situation, he's playing with white pieces, and this game was something else, you will see what I mean by that, knight f6, d3, bishop c5, knight c3, Italian game, bishop b6, a3, bishop g4, c3, 96 takes. So here Magnus made his kinda 
uh, accent on the king side because he's trying to bring his maybe knight to g6, maybe try to go g5, h5. And basically knight to 7, h3, bishop to 6, bishop a4, bishop g7, bishop c2, knight g6, castle. He decided to castle short, kind of make it a bit safer, but soon he found himself in an absolutely huge trouble because after d4, queen d3, rook a5, queen d3, and e5, rook f6 has been threatened. And it's very unpleasant for black as they have to find some, you know, defensive maneuvers. E takes d5, g6, c4, and now Magnus is completely lost. Magnus Carlsen needs only and draw, and he is absolutely lost. Because Rich is up a pawn, he has absolutely huge targets here. Knight on f6 is not really good. Rook a6, queen f3, attacking this knight again, and again king g7, and here. Rich finds absolute killer g6, rook d6, c5, and the point is bishop c6 is the only move which keeps position alive. Bishop c6, queen f2, rook e6, and here bishop b3 is played. The point is there is knight g4, let's say queen e7, and here after knight f6 there is rook e2. Again it's very complicated stuff, basically after rook g2, queen g2, bishop g2, king g2, white are winning. Because though black have queen, rook, they have less pieces and the position is so dominant for white pieces that that would have been winning. But if rook c2 happens, there is just this and basically d5 at some point and black are in huge trouble, d5, queen c3, the game is just over. But Richard couldn't find it, he plays bishop b3, g5, rook f5, bishop f4. Bishop 6 takes rook e5, bishop d3, rook d1. First kind of mistake, knight g4, he sacrifices his queen. So what he should have done is to play rook e6. But it's very complicated to find because even after this, this it's very complicated why this position is... Of course, I mean, Rishi has extra pawn, but it's not that easy to win even in this knight end game no knight end game if you have it's like pawn end game you have up some material you're winning but this was not the case here through d1 h4 he sacrificed his queen and still he is kind of winning but he needs to convert it somehow knight e4 he's going to this end game h takes g4 rook e2 even here magnus is completely lost after rook g4 rook f4 Rook e4. It's insane how Magnus could defend this position. Basically, here Richie has e5, he has g3, he plays king h3, rook f7, rook f8, this. And basically, this check was wrong. Here, he should have pushed the spawn because here Magnus doesn't have any checks, he has to play something like queen e4. And there is rook this. Oh, not this one, of course this one, because we need to protect this pawn. And again, if queen h1, king g4, queen e4, there is simple king g5 or h5. And almost no more checks, king, just, king is just marching. It can go here, queen e2, it can go king h6 or king g6, queen g4, king h7, and if queen g3, e7. And I mean white will promote and win the game, but what happened was rook d8 check and c4, e6, trying to push the pawn, but after queen f5, rook f4, rook d3, king c2, this pawn was taken. And there is no way right now, the position is right now drawish, Magnus can hold the draw, but he plays c5 and after queen d5, king h2, Magnus is lost again. Magnus Carlsen in the, like, in the position where he should make a draw, he makes another mistake, and now he's lost again. And the point is, he can't play queen d2 check. He doesn't have checks, because rook g2, and he will win the queen. Queen d5, rook f2. This is played, and now Magnus said he didn't know why Richard just didn't push the spawn. Richard just didn't want to push this, but after g5, c4, g6, c3, g7, c2, 
She ate queen. C1 queen. There is queen a2 checkmate and Richard would have won in a must win situation. But he just didn't push it. He tried again, but now king h3 again, another mistake. Should have just pushed. And after something like king one, just go for this. Queen a2 and now this. And the position would have winning. But instead. Very soon, Richard Report repeated moves against Magnus Carlsen and Magnus wins his sixth tournament in a row. This guy is just on another level. He's trying to change formats, he's played freestyle chess and he's still beating everyone. He's winning every single top tournament. And he's the winner of Grand Key Chess Classic 2024. But in tomorrow's video. I'll tell you about the winner of an open section and this winner makes it very interesting if Magnus is going to play next year or not. You might already know who the winner is, if you don't know, come to tomorrow's video, but I'll see you in the next recaps tomorrow, bye bye.